Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today i'm gonna talk about four types of shallow foundations so this topic is very helpful so watch this video till the end to learn something new about types of shallow foundation with their practical graphs okay so let's get started if this video is helpful for you so you may like this video remember guys in shallow foundation we have given types okay as you can see in the graph so this is shallow foundation types the first one is raft foundation what is raft foundation the second one is cantilever strip foundation continuous column foundation uh, strip foundation isolated foundation combined uh, column foundation etc or combined footing you can say so the first one is raft foundation remember guys raft foundation is a singly monolithic footing used in a soil with low bearing capacities when the bearing capacity of soil is low so in that case we will provide the raft foundation okay so used for the lightly loaded structure so three types we have there solid slab beam and slab the other one is cellular okay this is raft foundation the second one is cantilever strip footing so the cantilever strip footing guys you can see this is its uh, picture you can see clearly this is cantilever beam foundation okay you can see uh, at the bottom you can see the footing one side footing the other side and this is cantilever footing so a uh, strip so you can see the column footing you can see its theory practically the column footing so connected by the tie beam this is the tie beam as you can see this one you can say practically guys a column footing connected by a tie beam to another footing okay as you can see clearly this is very simple okay the second one is continuous column foundation so what is continuous column foundation you can see so this is continuous column foundation so if we have uh, more than two so that is a continuous uh, column footing if we have two so that is combined footing as you can see the second one i will tell you so the reinforcement concrete footing extended to support a row of column okay as you can see this is a row but you can see all the columns on the a uh, continuous remote okay the other one is strip footing so the strip footing you can also see uh, found a strip foundation so a continuous strip of the concrete under a continuous a uniformly distributed load for uniformly distributed load you can see this okay so this is the other type isolated footing you can see our uh, individual footing you can see this is the column this is isolated footing okay you can see here the columns so as you can see clearly okay the spread or isolated footing is a generally constructed to support an individual individual column only for one column we design isolated footing so therefore it's also called uh, individual footing okay is isolated footing so on the top of maybe you can provide this circular column square column rectangular column or slab uniform thickness okay the other, uh, other one is combined footing combined column foundation so you can see everything clearly let me focus the camera then you will see its details now guys you can see here okay now guys you can see also its theory lightly load column boundary of side heavily loaded column okay so if you see its theory so two or more columns are supported or a reinforced concrete footing they are often used where one of the column is isolated along a property line and it's not possible to extend the spread beyond the edge of the building you can see guys so this is the other type of column let me focus the camera now guys you can see the shallow foundation also combined footing uh, so all details you can see this is its section okay rectangular combined footing plan you can see here okay trapezoidal combined footing you can make a screenshot from this because 
you can see also the theory so I don't want to waste your time so therefore you can see everything clearly okay guys hope this video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye